So we've done our initial deal in the stud poker variant baseball. We've dealt our two down cards and one up card to everyone. And we've had a round of betting. What happens next? Well, this is stud, so everybody gets another up card. We've got two people working on queen six here. Now somebody working on queen two. And next comes a nine. Here's the thing about baseball. Nines are wild, threes are wild, and a four gets you an extra card to play with. So, nines being wild, the person holding the seven now has two sevens showing and would be the person with the option to bet compared to the other hands that have been dealt in this particular hand. Something to point out about baseball is that it's always nines and threes that are wild. It's not like, say, follow the queen, where wild cards can change. So nines and threes are wild, and they're going to stay that way. So that means that I know I've got at least two sevens to play from this point on.